What's up, bitches and gentlemen? In this video, I'm going to basically be explaining the perfect mindset and how to basically take a complete control of your life so that you are no longer a victim in any circumstance of your existence and that you can start creating uh, your own reality. You see what I did there? A lot of people have been asking me to make videos like this because I, I have it in a long time where it's just raw, me off the top, mindset videos. Not the conspiracy videos, but mindset because that's what I'm good at, I guess. And I've been overcomplicating the shit out of YouTube because it's whatever. So this is for my OG followers. I'm going to be explaining how you can take absolute control over your mind and these are the pillars. So we have money, health, discipline, relationships, self-image, and adversity. We're going to be covering them one by one and at the end you'll see how they all kind of interconnect together. So let's start with uh, money, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll get straight to the hardest part and money is the hardest thing to understand because money is, isn't real. Right? It only has value because we all agree that it has value. And likely your perception of money comes from what your parents thought about money, what your friends in your neighborhood have all thought about money growing up. So your subconscious is basically jurisdicting how you think and operate about money right now. If you didn't come from wealth, when you see the wealthy people and you see the mansions and you see the Rolls Royces, you probably think like, what the fuck do you do? How do you do this? This doesn't make any sense. It should piss you off, honestly, because the only difference between you and that person is a lack or a, a separation of knowledge. They just know something that you don't know. And knowledge is everywhere. You can find it everywhere. So right now you need to be able to switch, flip that switch in your brain that says like, I can't do that and get rid of the limiting beliefs that you are unable that you aren't worthy, that you don't come from wealth so you can't make it happen, and start thinking in abundance. Money is everywhere, money is fake. It is a infinite resource that can be spawned like this. Every single time I find myself going down the slippery slope of scarcity thinking and like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to pay this, or oh my God, what happens if, what happens if, what happens if, basically if you say what if, you're thinking scarcely, because money is everywhere and you are a magnet to it as soon as you switch your perspective to I'm a money magnet. When you start, and my mentor told me a great quote a long time ago, and it's action relieves anxiety. So if you are continuously taking action and you are continuously providing value to the world and just providing your services to as many people as you possibly can, planting as many seeds as you possibly can, you're going to automatically start having an abundance mindset because you are seeing, you, 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 you see yourself put in the work and you understand that what you are doing is valuable to society. And when what you're doing is valuable to society, people will recognize that. I'll give you guys an example of me with Create Your Reality. When I started Create Your Reality, it was 2021. It was my first time I've ever really sold a product, right? And I was nervous, right? I didn't know if anyone was gonna buy my shit, but because for the past two years before launching Create Reality, I was planting seeds and providing value every single day with my messages, with my TikTok videos, with my Instagram videos. I was providing value everywhere. That is me planting seeds day by day with no expectation. So when the time came around to drop Create Your Reality, I think I made like $70,000 on my first fucking launch of my business, which is pretty insane. But it just goes to show you that you need to be planting the seeds so when time comes, does come around for you to make the money, it will come rather than you just thinking scarcely and doing everything out of a place of lack and desperity and the need for money. I wasn't in the need for money because I didn't have crazy lifestyle expenses. So when, when the time came around, I was able to make money. So get rid of your scarcity. Consistency. You will see at the end of this that all of these tie up with consistency. Without consistency, you have absolutely nothing. If you, if, you get, if you finally get momentum in your business or your social media following, and you, you start to take your foot off the gas a little bit because you've started to see a little bit of progress, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot immediately. If you want to make a successful, abundant life for yourself, you have to show up every single day for at least two years. I didn't take a vacation for like three years, bro. When I, between the time I dropped out of college until I moved to Miami, my first vacation was to Costa Rica and that was in 2022. So it was literally like two, three years before I gave myself a real vacation, right? And that was after I made like 300K in a month. So I'm like, okay, like it's probably time to reward myself. But other than that, it is foot on the gas every single day because 
uh, say a month in business, if you waste a month in business, I, I would say that's like a year wasted in business. You have to think about all the people that are competing with you and how those people are showing up every single day with no excuses. You, you, you don't have the time to waste. You don't have the time to ease off the gas, right? Like work from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every fucking day if you really want it that bad because that's what your competition is doing. Show up every single day, believe that you are worthy of it, and don't allow your subconscious beliefs that your parents instilled into you to jurisdict how you feel about money. Secondly, let's go to health. Without health, none of this matters. Money doesn't matter, discipline, none of this shit matters if you're unhealthy. So the, the key to staying healthy is to avoid ever getting unhealthy in the first place, right? A lot of people will end up in the hospital because their lifestyle choices reflected that of an unhealthy person. So now they're going to deal with the repercussions of being unhealthy and having un unhealthy lifestyle habits. So it starts with going to the gym consistently. Every single day, go to the gym. I don't take off days. If I have an off day, I'll go stretch. I'll go walk on the treadmill. I'll go move my body in some way, shape, or form unless I like literally feel like sick. And if I go work out, it'll make me sicker. Food, you need to be incredibly intentional about what you're eating. You shouldn't be putting anything into your body that doesn't come directly from mother nature. If it doesn't come from mother nature and it didn't exist 100 years ago, it's probably not even nutritious. So it's not good for you. Ground beef, honey, fruits, veggies. That's really all you fucking need. You don't need anything, right? Like what even is a Twinkie? What is a Pop-Tart? What is all this shit that comes in a box, bro? You don't need any of that. And that's how you avoid. That's how you really escape the system is taking your health into your own hands and not relying on the fucking people, they, them, whatever. Sleep, get good sleep, it's not hard. I'm in bed every single day by like 9.30 because what productive happens past 9.30? Literally nothing. Nothing productive happens past 9.30, so why do I need to be awake, right? Like if, I, if I've worked all day and I have nothing to, nothing to do, why do, I need, why do I need to stay up late? A majority of people that stay up late just fucking watch YouTube, play it, Xbox, they are doing nothing to benefit themselves, so why would I not just go to sleep and wake up at a good time rather than stay up late and wake up at fucking midnight? That's what normies do. That's what fucking brokies do. Don't be one of them. And partying. How mindful are you of your alcohol consumption? This will be over here in discipline as well because partying is a giant temptation. Everyone parties at your age. Everyone parties at my age. But what are they celebrating? There's always going to be something to celebrate. So you need to actually have an intuitive feeling of what should I be celebrating? Should I be celebrating another Tuesday night or another Thursday night? In college, you will realize that people find any excuse to drink. College literally just breeds alcoholism. And if you can't see through that, you're a fucking bot, period. So don't party if you don't absolutely deserve to party. When I was building, uh, living in Ohio, I would n very rarely go out. I mean, I would get crazy FOMO because I'm an extroverted person and I worked five days a week while building my business that on a Friday night and a Saturday night, I would go see my friends. But other than that, you're not gonna catch me out at the fucking club on a Tuesday, bro. Like I got shit to do, I got dreams. Ultimately every, sorry, hoodie change, Mike died, had to take a little intermission. Anyway, so ultimately you, you, your health, if, you don't, if you're not healthy, nothing else is going to matter. You're not gonna be showing up to your life efficiently, you're not gonna show up to your business efficiently, your relationships efficiently. So start taking your health seriously. Go to the sauna, go to the cryotherapy. Avoid getting sick at all costs before it happens. Take care of yourself when you're healthy to avoid getting sick. That's how you succeed in all realms of business, right? Like making sure you don't go broke before you even have to deal with being borderline broke is how you succeed. When you have $100,000 in the bank and you keep that pedal on the gas is how you become a millionaire. You don't have comfort levels. You're like, I want more, I want more. I'm happy with what I have, but I need more. So prioritize your health. Nothing's as important as your health. No money, no cars, no girls will ever be as important as your health. So discipline, None, nothing matters if you can't discipline yourself. If you can't show up and do the things that you don't wanna do when you don't feel like doing them, nothing will ever be yours. If you can't resist the temptations like the partying, like the porn, like the drinking, like the smoking weed, like the nicotine, like the fucking vaping, what are you doing if you're vaping, bro? Like. I, I just can never wrap my head around it. Like cigars is one thing because it's, it's from mother nature. Tobacco comes from mother nature. But when you are literally smoking chemicals from the flavored chemicals from a lab, you are a fucking boss. 
And if any of you are smoking your vape while watching this, bot. And I don't care if you're successful and you're still vaping, I will always call people who smoke vapes bots. Because like, what the fuck are you doing to yourself? That's how you create health problems, by consuming whatever the fuck that is. That's a fucking matrix psyop for sure. So disciplining yourself to show up consistently. Waking up, if you tell yourself you're gonna wake up at 8 a.m. every single day, you do it. 6 a.m., you do it. You have to have a reputation with yourself as someone that does the things they say they're going to do or you're never going to succeed, right? Then you're just gonna be building, if you don't do that, you're gonna build a reputation with yourself as someone who says they're gonna do something but always quits, doesn't, doesn't fulfill with the promises that they tell themselves. So not, then you're just gonna be so much more prone to quitting because you've already done it in the past. Willpower. I used to hate leg day. I used to skip leg day almost every single time just because I would tell myself like, eh, I wanna get my upper body to where I want it to be before I start working on my legs. Just a f fucking pathetic excuse. Now I understand willpower and I understand that my body is my body and it does whatever I tell it to do. If today is leg day, big fucking deal. I, I tell myself to do legs, I get it done, right? If I tell myself I'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow and I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z tomorrow, I get it done because my body is mine, right? A lot of people are the slave to their minds and slave to their bodies and succumb to comfort. And you can't discipline yourself. You can't push yourself outside the comfort zone and understand that your avatar is your avatar and it's like, I, I'm doing all of these voluntarily, right? It's my body. It just comes down to how weak or how strong your mind is. That's what will determine how successful you are. So, like I said, you gotta discipline yourself to know when the party that you got invited to is just a fucking pathetic excuse to get drunk that you don't need to do. And take righteous self-accountability for your entire life. Everything is your fault. Everything. Stop trying to blame other people for what's going on in your life. It is your fault. The reason why you are where you're at right now is your fault. The reason why you don't have the money you wanna have is your fault. You can blame other people, you can play the victim, but everything will always be your fault. And until you take this righteous self-accountability and you start showing up, saying, I'm not where I wanna be because I, I haven't put in the work necessary to get to where I wanna be. If you keep blaming other people, you're just gonna be a victim, you're gonna be one of those people in the TikTok comments saying, wow, it must be nice growing up rich. Don't be one of those fucking people. Take self-accountability for your life. I came from nothing, I wasn't handed nothing. My mom put a roof over my head, she fed me. I had clothes, but it's not like I was handed, handed a fucking trust fund or a giant inheritance, right? People will just automatically assume that I grew up rich because I'm young and successful. You should get to that point. So now we're gonna get into relationships because these are incredibly important. Am I in the frame? If your relationships aren't sound, influential in a good way into your life, you are going to be lagging behind. So if you're hanging out with losers, which you need to avoid, you're a fucking loser, period. Like if all your friends go out on a Tuesday and you succumb to the temptation, you go out on a Tuesday, what are you, a loser? No matter what you say to yourself, the story that you tell yourself, well, I'm a winner, you know, I'm successful, but I'm gonna go out on this Tuesday. Loser. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, unless you really deserve that, unless you, have made like five grand that week, you should not be going out on a fucking Tuesday. And I know that days are fake, YOLO, you only live once, you could die tomorrow. Yeah, but no rich person says this shit. Life's about balance, but what are you celebrating? I personally feel like shit if I go out on a Tuesday and I don't deserve to be there, right? Like I'm, I, it'll be in the back of my head like I shouldn't be here. There's, we're just doing the same thing that we've done the past fucking three months. Came to the same bar, did the same thing. The night ended the same every single time. Your significant other needs to be very intentional. If you just get into a relationship with someone because they're good looking but they lack substance, your relationship is going to lack substance and you're going to constantly feel a void within you because your significant relationship is so crucial to where you wanna get into your life. If you don't have someone who's supportive, like-minded, motivates you, inspires you, then you're you're going to just be slowing yourself down because you're succumbing to your temptations of your fucking hormones. Rather than actually picking a good partner and staying single until you find a good partner. It's easy to find a partner that 
can fulfill your sexual desires. It's hard to find one that can stimulate your brain. So don't just settle for a fucking flesh suit, right? Find some substance or else you're just gonna be slowing yourself down. Self-image, you need to be able to look at yourself as the fucking goat, right? But that starts with taking action. So if you're not taking action, you're going to obviously doubt yourself. Like I said earlier, action relieves anxiety. So you need to be able to look into the mirror and this is going to take time. I, I don't believe in that you should just have confidence naturally, right? Like confidence is basically you not having to prove yourself to anyone. But when you're starting out, like you should be humble. You shouldn't be like, yeah, I'm the fucking goat when you've literally achieved nothing, right? Like Chad and Brad are the, the cockiest dudes in the room when they've literally done nothing and that turns people off. You don't want to be the guy that is incredibly cocky and arrogant when they haven't achieved anything and they're using their parents' credit card. Humble yourself and understand that, yeah, I'm working to be better every single day, right? I'm, I'm proactively becoming better, putting in the work, going to the gym, reading, making money, developing the foundations to my business, have the cash flow, and I'm a good fucking human. That's how you have a good self-image, is by having the reputation of, I don't litter, I don't steal. All these little things add into the reputation that you have with yourself, right? And they may seem so little, like throwing a fucking straw wrapper out the window, or stealing a fucking bag of chips at checkout. All these things will, will be registered in your subconscious brain. And if over time you always do the right thing, your self-image will naturally be a good one. Naturally, if you just constantly over time do the right thing, even if it seems so insignificant, you're going to register. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you. If the image that you put out to the world is, hey, I'm a good fucking guy, but you subconsciously do these things that ruin your reputation with yourself in the subconscious, it's going to be transparent. You're not fooling anyone. Maybe you are fooling people, but you're not fooling yourself. And that's the most important part. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you. You should have a good self image because you are an actual good human. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much clout you have, what cars you have, what bitches you fucked. It matters about who you actually are. That's how you become a successful person. And adversity. The last and final one, you are always going to be dealt with adversity. Always. I recently dealt with something that fucking sucked nuts and it set me back a little bit, but only for like a day, right? Because I, I accepted what happened and I was like, damn, like that's really unfortunate. But there, there's really no reason. You, when you are present, I should have added presence here. I'll put it here. When you are present, Nothing, nothing can phase you because in this moment, what could be better? And this very, you can anticipate the future all you want. You can say, I hope this doesn't happen. Oh my God, if this happens, I'm fucked. If this happens, I'm fucked. Or if I lose all my money, I'm fucked. Or damn, what happened in the past was fucked. That really sucks. Why'd they do that to me? When you can handle your adversity with emotional intelligence and centeredness, and you can do all of these other things at the same time, and not allow the hiccups in life, the minor bumps in the road to fuck you over, there's no reason why you can't succeed when you do all of these things consistently. Consistently. I'm not even focused on the spelling. If you can do all of these things consistently and you show up, you will have a mental fortitude that is unlike any other. You will have a strong self-image, a reputation with yourself as a good individual, you will be present, you will be grounded, you will be enlightened because you are here now. What can I do in this moment to make my life better? And you discipline yourself, you show up every single day, you hold yourself accountable, you don't party when you don't deserve it, you have the willpower, you sleep well, you take care of your body, you go to the gym, you eat good food, you have an abundance mindset and you don't hang out with losers. You're in the fucking 1%, no matter how much money you have. So implement all of these things into your life and you are the 1% of minds in this world. Doesn't matter how much money you have because you're probably fucking 18 years old. Focus on becoming 1% mentally, then the money will follow. All right, guys, if you guys want to join my Discord, it used to be private, only members only. I just opened it up to the public. If you want to join, that'll be in the description below. 2,100 members. We've gained like 400 members today. I just opened it up today. Um, that'll be fucking epic. Free Zoom call on July 19th. I hope you all enjoyed this. This has the power to change your life if you actually listen and implement. So much love everybody. Drop a comment if you want more videos like this.